my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Don't be sick on your son. No. Oh my gosh. Lich. Oh. and welcome back to another episode of our beautiful rags to riches series i have taken out the christmas mod pack because i just have too many mods in my game so it slows everything down but we still have christmas decorations up here it is what is it in simland it's still like a whole week until new year's eve i actually think i might do like a new year's eve special episode in the suburbs house i have some stuff i want to show you guys and also you know the tradition new year's eve sims die so some of those older sims you've seen around might be just meeting their demise in my uh suburbs episodes because we respect tradition we stand tradition on this channel and our tradition is killing sims on new year's eve it started out as an accident but now it's kind of like become such a blessed part of this channel that we can't really divert from it can we and before we get into today's episode it is time for our pizzeroni shout out this is five of you guys that have tweeted either myself or the cali a club on twitter on instagram and shared your beautiful merch pictures with us we are saying a big thanks in the video so without further ado, here are today's beautiful little peachy queens. So up first in her Peacheroonies t-shirt, we have Claire Peaches here, loving the hair there. We have two ladies from A Rich Sport here, both of them in the Peacheroonies t-shirt as well. Thank you ladies so much, love the matching outfits there. We've got Georgia7604, also in her little peachy t-shirt too, with some beautiful little flowers in her hair. We've got love Claire Siobhan with one of the best smiles I've seen all day uh, with her Peacheroonies t-shirt on too. And we've got Claire's grin, uh, quite suitably grinning in her picture with her Peacheroonies top on as well. You guys all look so, so amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the channel with the merch, but most importantly for sharing your pictures with us so you can put a big old smile on my face. And the sun is rising. Oh my gosh, we've not done this in a while. Where's the sun at? Where must sun be at? Sometimes it's hard to see. Like, this is where I feel really stupid but like should there not be a sun like <laughs> Okay, even with the with my like a uh, beautiful graphic -y update off I still can't be seeing the Sun So apparently there is no Sun, but the day is bright I can hear some kind of strange animal down here, which I'm kind of digging I also don't think I've really fully appreciated before that we kind of live on the edge of a canyon <gasps> And there's water down here. Okay, that has piqued my interest because I was suddenly thinking aside from the rags and riches Oh my gosh desperate desperate times over there in the animal den not good aside from the rags to riches we also need to be focusing on our lifetime aspirations and little yona bears is actually an angling ace and i can't even are you joking you give me this big beautiful river that runs all the oh i guess you can fish here okay fine but we've already done that so that doesn't add anything new to the game okay fine whatever whatever but here's his angling ace um willows quite fittingly is master chef and the kiddos i guess they're both we've got a whiz kid and we've got an artistic prodigy but i was just having a look like how long's everyone got left to live or just in general <laughs> of their time left in their current age group so coda is obviously older than nita both of them however are creatively talented i gave coda the farmer trait but because the mod hasn't been updated by quiet stacy i still can't farm so i don't know how useful that is going to be to him in the long run and then we've got willow who has 39 days before she becomes an elder and we've got yona who has 34 days to become an elder so he's a little bit older than a willow bear and yeah i just i want to focus both on continuing the rags to riches today the kids are now old enough that they can help out in the bakery and i am so down for that that is going to be awesome in fact if they can literally help out i can fire my garbage employee which will be even better although it also kind of like borders on child labor so you know swings and roundabouts also i can't see how long bjorn has left to live but really guys bjorn be looking old i could check with mcc but what where's the fun in that you know oh, okay dormant angry bees there's no fun in that so i kind of just i'm gonna wait and see wait and see what happens i am gonna get the family up though because the dog Dog needs feeding and these guys these guys have food but they also are all looking real desperate so let's just go in and just clean as much as we can in here because you know we are farmers kind of looking after animals is sort of part of the parcel you know also i downloaded like a new mod that is meant to make me be able to have in fact let's find it because we got our chickens in here so look we've got like these little cutie pies and we got these two cutie pies here but they don't really move so i've downloaded a mod that should allow me to add chicken lickens that actually move animated chickens <gasps> oh my gosh oh <laughs> okay that is freaking amazing look at them all chickening around oh <gasps> 
Why has that one got some dirt on the floor and the others don't? I don't know. Oh my gosh, how many chickens can I have? Like, I'll I'll put them back. I'll return them. We could just have like free range chickens that just kind of hang out around the, around the front of the house. What do we reckon? Is this going to slow my game down? Let us find out. But I'm kind of there for the idea that we just have chickens everywhere. You know, one, one of those folks. Oh! <gasps> Chickens! Chickens everywhere! Oh my, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. There's chickens as far as the eye can see. Bjorn's run inside. He's he's like, nah, too many chickens for me. Okay, we're gonna be like, we're, we're taking the barley. I'm talking about barley again, Claire. I can't help it. We're taking the barley approach to chickens where they just be everywhere doing their chickeny business. And we just kind of roll with that. Like, we just roll with the whole chickens being out in the world. These are smart chickens. These ain't regular chickens, you know? Oh my gosh, please stop puking everywhere. Where's the medicine? We need to heal all the animals. The animals do not be looking like they're in a good state. Let's get them all healed. Even Bjorn, I'm noticing, has a shiny red nose. So let's do him next too. There are so many chickens. It's actually crazy. Someone needs to do it with like pigos too. I would have been like so much more down for this than like animals that are meant to look like them but bark, you know? And like us to be walked. Coda as well. Why don't you play with your amazing Christmas present? A lump of clay. I'm interested to see what you're going to make, okay? Oh, I also need to check in my vent the rest of the presents from Christmas because the last episode we were here oh it was in Christmas okay you guys got some more stuff also one of these chickens is getting way too glow I think it's these they're like going into the room which which ain't right so lucky man folded laundry what's that one of your Christmas presents poor little Yona that sounds garbage but here you go put it on your dresser for you <gasps> penguin village visions t children's TV well that's so cool we don't even have a TV in this house so you guys are very lucky that you're alive allowed to have this. And we got a little pigo too. I always get so freaked out that we just permanently have a Macy in, in our- a Macy grave in our inventory. It's sort of weird, but OG rags to riches watchers will understand. Oh, what? You you don't even do anything with your lump of clay? Make something. Mold that clay. I want to see incredible things happen, okay? Oh, he made an Eiffel Tower. Oh, what? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look, he made an Eiffel Tower. Okay, well done. Well done, kid. Look at this. Kids TV, because you made the Eiffel Tower. You're now allowed to watch the penguin TV. Oh wow, that is actually a cool TV. And since it's like a Saturday, I'm gonna be kind to you. I'm I'm not gonna send you to go work. I think instead, why don't you take the kids to the park? I think that would be sweet. A little family time in the park together. That is real cute. We'll bring Bjorn as well. And oh my gosh, it's even snowing. Oh, you're not gonna be able to fish then, are you? <laughs> why don't we build a snow pile together? Okay, that will be real cute. Look at this adorable family bonding time. Well, I was like many a uh, many a year ago I rummaged through the bins here to try and find enough like food and stuff to sell just so that I could live. Literally that's where we were. How what episode are we on now? Like 16? That was like pure like episode one to two banter. And now look at us. We have ki we have a whole bear thing. We've got like a little farm. Things be going well. Things be going really well. I'm glad I chose Willow to focus on because up until when I started this series I wasn't like I didn't know what to do with her and I felt kind of a bit lost by her. I knew I had to like seriously cut down. Oh, is this? Oh, it's one of um, Salome and Hunter's kids. Oh, that's cute. I knew I had to severely cut down the number of sims I had because it went from like two, me and Ali, to like 60, I think almost. But I really needed to pick which sims I was gonna drop as a main series sim and which ones I was gonna keep. And like, I'm glad I whittled it down so much because I enjoy the game so much more now. It was so stressful trying to build stories for 60 sims because you just can't do it. You're just not gonna get actual yeah. interest in stories. And I didn't originally plan Willow to be with one of the ones that I did keep around. But I'm so glad I did because I like a character so much now. I'm sorry if you guys had favorites that didn't end up getting like a series of their own or like included in one of the main series. I just, I had to cut down. I had to be brutal. And honestly, they're growing again. So I might have to do it again soon as well. Yona! Oh, wow, okay. Yona's is so cute. I love that. Then we've got, I think this one was Willow's. I think this one was Nita's. And I think that this one was Coda's. Everyone did a different one. Actually, so there for that. Love. Oh, wait, now you got like, Coda definitely just copied. Coda copied Yona 
God, the names in this family are a little bit confusing for me. I feel like we'll do a bit of ice skating and then honestly, we, we kind of just need to call it a day because it's a blizzard. The weather is much nicer this in Strangerville, which is where they live. I'm having a costume party. Do you want to come? Oh, oh, wow. We was Fran a minute ago. That ain't Fran anymore. I was about to say it's so nice that like Fran is like Fran and Yona like had a really good chat on Christmas and I feel like they're kind of bros now. So I kind of love that. But I don't know where he went, gang. I don't know where he went at all. And look how much nicer it is here. You guys look stupid in your clothes here. Absolutely stupid. And look at this beautiful family wholesomeness. They're such like a sweet family. Oh, okay, fine. Getting up and totally ignoring me. Whatever. Oh, you guys have to go. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, you have to go hug through the door. Okay. I don't know why Sims do this. It's super weird and annoying. I love that she's got the flowers in her hair option though. But such like a sweet wholesome family. There's a part of me that's just like, it would be a shame if someone was to come and ruin everything. And the way to ruin this family would be to give them another baby, which I kind of want to do because then it's three bears. And I'm sort of here for the three bears thing. What's that noise then? Oh, he's turned on the Christmas music. But at the same time, like, I don't... Toddlers and babies in this game are not fun, okay? They're stressful and crazy. And there's a big part of me that's like, why even do that to yourself? Why not just... Get easy, easy life, easy wife, you know? Why don't you just be more sensible? Oh, that's a cute picture, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yep, no one's even reacted yet. Apart from Coda. Coda's like, how can you not see the fire right there? Um, let's forget the campfire and instead let's extinguish the fire. Yeah, this is why we don't do this very much. Okay, just lock your children in there to burn. Great. That is ideal, like, behavior for the situation. And yeah, you guys wanted drama. Here you go. Do you remember when I lost a chair and I literally couldn't even replace the chair? Now I can. You don't know me, but if you don't meet me right now, I will be disappointed in you. Okay. The game be like, you want some drama? I'm sending a lady with no pupils to kill you. Sylvia and Glit Gale. Isn't that one of like the like worlds you can only get to like through a tree? I don't know what's happening, but I'm excited and stressed about the fire. Yeah. I knew it was. I knew it was. She's random invite. She just brought us through to the Sylvia and Gale. I'm going to be sick. Like the Willow's going to vomit. She hates it. But yeah, this is like an adventure world. And it was actually right next to the original Claire and Ali old school house. And I think Claire may have worked. Okay, we just vomiting in this future. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. We're just vomiting in this beautiful world. Wow. Yona, look, there's a new fishing sauce. You, you go fishing, friendo. Can I bring the kids? Oh, I can't bring the dog. But oh my gosh, he's fished out of three. As if it just brought us here. I'm literally so amazed by that. I can't even begin to tell you guys. But this is really cool. We got to bring our kids to the Sylvian Glade, which is like full, full on. Like where the fairies live, you know? Literally where the fairies live. Oh, what if they got engaged here? and through a future wedding here. Can I build here? Yep, I could build here. We could literally have a wedding here. Oh my gosh, you guys need to get engaged here in front of the beautiful waterfall with your kids. You're all gonna die of overheating though because it's actually hot here. So can you just like change into clothes that I'm gonna kill you? She's being sick again. So you're gonna be, don't be sick on him. Don't be sick on your son. No. Oh my gosh. Literally, oh, oh, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Why are they just vomiting in turn on Yona's head? Uh, not Yona. Coda's head. I don't understand. No, it's her. It's her. She's making me sick. What is happening? No, this is meant to be a beautiful proposal. You're ruining it with your bombs. I might just have to right click and get rid of it. I can't. <gasps> this woman invited me here to die. Like seriously, what is happening? Kirby Willow is definitely on the return. She's still tiny, I know. But I feel like she was like this before. So, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, let's see if this has helped with her sickness. Stop ruining what could be a beautiful moment by vomiting everywhere. Yeah, go and chat with Yona. That's good, that's good. Maybe Yona can try and put us in the flirty mood. Oh, I won't kiss her. I honestly wouldn't kiss her. I don't think it's a good idea. Woohoo on the spot. If the kids what here? Kids ruining everything. Okay, whatever. You know what? We're gonna have the beautiful proposal whether we're sick or not. So get your butts here. Okay, Gang Lang, are you ready for this? This, I think this even outdoes a jungle proposal. Look at this for a proposal location. This, th I think this potentially has even outdone Ali. Like seriously, look at this place. This is the most beautiful place I think I've ever seen to get engaged. It is absolutely stunning. The kids have come to watch. Kids. Mummy and daddy are actually- Wow, Yona looking shiny in here. I'm not quite sure why. Yona, uh, mummy and daddy of oh, the dancing. She's like, yay. Mummy and daddy are actually engaged. Hooray. That means 
boho beautiful wedding time you know it does guys you know it does so kids if you can like go here what's the farthest corner i can shove you in so you can't see any of this come and view a strawberry bush view a pear tree okay i went <laughs> i've literally clicked try for a baby on the spot i did it subconsciously without even thinking but i don't know three bears you know it would make the series harder other than like willow vomiting all the time look at the location as well i feel like if you have a baby here it's probably going to be a fairy oh i don't want to get demonetized again so let's just go over here it's probably going to be like a fairy or i could force it to be a plant him because it's been born in the glade this woman's just here vomiting not only from sickness but also the fact that she just had to watch them woo woo in the wild even a proposal and a fairy style woo woo cannot make willow feel less sick than she does right now so that's kind of weird and disturbing but we did it in quite good timing because the random invite ends in seven seconds you want to get in a bit more of his little fishing time there i'm so glad we accepted that random lady's invite but we know must leave the glade, you guys. Oh, chickens. We don't want chickens in our bedroom. <laughs> and there we go. She's a good wife putting up with her husband's crazy, crazy things that he likes, like a thousand fish. And here we go. Pop the fish in. Look at that. I don't even know what it is. Maybe some of these are actually tasty fish and I'm being an idiot. But we got more fisheroos. Oh, uh oh. Baby kick. Baby kick. Willow definitely felt that. Everything hurts. Oh, oh, Yona's arrived half naked. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh, Yona, you're gonna have to put some clothes on you. You can't walk around like that. You're far too fierce for that. Fierce? Fine? I don't know. But whatever it is, you're way too much of it. Ah, uh, and the kids can't actually help out the bakery. Okay, fine. Good to know. Good to know. The bakery's doing real good. People be wanting to ring up left, right, and center. I thought the kids would be able to help me, but... <laughs> They ain't being very helpful. <laughs> but they're being cute and sometimes that can help with sales. So, you know what? I'm gonna give them that. I mean, look at this. Look at this cuteness happening right here. Does that not just want to make you buy cupcakes? I feel like it does. If we get to like, I don't know, like 3k, I'll spend some more money because, I mean, it's cute. But people aren't hanging out here. That's what's making me disappointed. And I read somewhere that if I get a coffee machine, people might like have a coffee and stick around. And I think that's really cool. So we'll try that. And I don't know if like social introvert yoga ever saw himself as front of house in a bakery that's decorated with pastels but this is where he is and wow our outgoing costs costs are very high today okay we're in i know why are you eating the stock oh that's a super, super expensive thing too but i think it's because i set her to just restock because she wasn't ringing anyone up that she's just like gone mad and tried to buy stuff for all of the store which is not what i had in mind like she's restocked everything and i'm struggling to keep up i'm literally Literally struggling to keep up. I feel like restocking is not smart because I don't. Oh wow, okay, beautiful. I don't feel like I make back as much as it's worth. Like it doesn't seem sensible to me. And, oh my gosh, you guys told me to download some signs. I downloaded some stuff, but I don't know if I put it in my mods folder. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna get it. Oh my gosh, let me see if I got it. Bakery stickers. Where are they? Are is it these boutique stickers? Bakery stickers. Okay, okay, okay. I can. I feel like. Oh, uh, the reason I can't put stuff on the sign is because it's so freaking hard to put anything on the sign like that sign is designed to put stuff on but how you're meant to do it i just don't even know but it's fine we'll find a cute sign to put at the front of the store anyway a cup oh she does sell cup oh man there's so many cute ones i kind of like that one's kind of cute that one's cute i don't know i sort of like this one because it's a bakery but this one makes it look very like posh sort of french bakery i swear i got more than just this this is the thing that's annoying so for now i'll just stick that one there let me see what's in booty ah uh, none of them look very bakery -y. okay we'll just stick with these for now but i need to get the one that you guys said so i guess if this is like our posh little bakery logo that one should go there now and this cute little dude maybe goes over someplace else Okay, so we got this behind the door though. I think that looks pretty good. I do definitely need to get the ones that you guys said. And I've just realized, did I ever unlock like fame options for her? Because I want her to become a, not just a baker, but like a famous baker. Maybe we need to let her step into the spotlight with her amazing bacon. Oh, and little fans even come in to support uh -oh, the store. Yeah. Legit, having someone linked with celebrities is good here. So the more friend wants to support the store and buy, the better it is for us. But don't be distracting him from his work there, Fred, okay? I need to get the kids home. Oh, yay, Fran bought something 
it for us. Thanks, Fran. He, in fact, bought the final thing in the store. Suddenly, Claire's. Oh, he loves me. And there we go, guys. We can go ahead and close up the store. I'm honestly going to get rid of those wages. I'm going to get rid of her because she's useless. The restocking thing really, like, it, it's tough. However, look at that. We earned a lot of money today. I think we should be very proud of ourselves, okay? And yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is about you guys, but I just don't let you sleep. You have a hard life. You've been asleep the whole time, Nita. Bless your heart. <gasps> oh, and it clicked off for a second there. Maybe I can pull it back up. But Nita was sad about life because she wants a new brother or sister. <laughs> You might be just about to get that. Is it still there? Look, 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 look. Ah! Pause, look. Sibling phase from life. Lisa seems to want a new brother or sister. You have no feelings towards it. You have a bladder infection, in fact. But still, still, she wants a brother or sister. You might be about to find out some news. I don't know. She's not showing any more signs. Like, I can't see any tummy bulging or anything. So I'm just gonna send her to sleep and see if anything changes overnight. Wait, I still get the option to try for a baby. But she said she felt a kick. Let's see what happens tomorrow. And look at the madness of this house with the chickens now. Chickens, everyone! These guys have got school in an hour. Is there any baby changes? She's not awake yet. She's probably gonna wake up soon. Code is at school. Anita, please go to school. Coda, please can you make enemies? Uh, I don't know if you did your homework. Maybe do some homework in class. Oh, you did 75% of it. <gasps> okay, Willow's awake. Willow's awake. Willow's awake. Morning sickness. Is there a lump? Is there a bump? I still can't tell. I can't tell. Eating for two. She thinks she is. Should I get her to do a test? I oh, she can throw up. Okay. Yona's, have you weed yourself? Okay, great. Oh, yeah. She's she gonna be sick. She's gonna be sick. Okay. Willow, Willow, come on, babes. You've thrown up so many times in this episode. I forgot how rough pregnancy is on you. You have really, really don't do well with pregnancy. But we do get the option to share the big news, which I think, okay, yeah, I can tell she's pregnant now. Only just, she's not like huge. I think we should, we can end the episode on her at least. Oh, are you just not gonna, oh, okay, well, we, we just ain't telling him. Oh no, there we go, there we go. We're having another bear. Oh, great. What's his reaction? Is it like fear or is that, oh gosh, <laughs> another one. Yeah, trust me, I'm smiling. Actually, he's dying inside because literally Willow nearly died basically with the last baby because she has such a rough pregnancy pregnancy. I can't actually believe they're doing it again. But yeah, I guess the three, like she's, she's, she's feeling relaxed apparently. The three bears prophecy may be about to become true because there's going to be another bear in the family. Yay. It will make things harder though. And this is meant to be a tough challenge. So hopefully you guys are happy about that. Uh, let me know your guesses of gender and names in the comments below. If it's twins, I'm actually going to have a mental breakdown because not only will it not be the three bears, but it's also way too much work. So fingers crossed it's not twins or triplets or quadruplets. Plus, please no, please no. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.